Yeah, the, the fight experience in the boys was uh, definitely shown it was needed today. Uh, I think uh, there's plenty that we we'll take out of that game from uh, what we can improve on, but uh, to see the boys in the positions they were and probably a bit stop startish in how we're performing, I suppose, throughout that game, but uh, the boys were able to dig deep and find something towards the end. Greg, is there anything you can't do? Yeah, you know, sort of coming back from that, pretty impressive. Yeah, you know, um, we just got to uphold our standards and today wasn't our best day. You know, even though we walked away with the win it was um, you know disappointing in areas of that match. So you know we gotta go back to the drawing board and have a look at ourselves and you know continue on the next week. How much of a positive is that that you can play your best but still got the win? Oh massive, you know we got still improvements within ourselves and I said that last week. And you know I think we took you know a step backwards compared to our game last week and we just got to, you know, like I said, the satisfying thing is that we can look at improvements areas of our game. Seems to be great belief in the side, mate. Did you come from the Greek last year or started before that? I think the blue's been growing in the team, it still is. I think uh, for Greek to sit here and acknowledge that we weren't at our best and the players themselves just spoke about it and the improvements that we know we can uh, have in the team, well, I guess that comes back to the belief factor, but I think you know, we're going to go back and look at areas of improvement because we're on to round three now and uh, we played a, a very good team in the wrists. They're, um, they've got two very good arms and they're forwards. They came at us and obviously they've got a good backfield. So we we just got to look at the, the lessons we learned out of that one and you now focus around what we'll do next. It's obviously a huge release when Adam Reynolds come back on. Yeah, it always is. I think, uh, we probably lost our way a little bit there when he went off, but um, the players regrouped and they, they got themselves back into what we needed to do. But Obviously, Adam's a big part, along with everyone in our team. He, uh, I thought he performed very well at the back end of the game and was able to you know, steer us around and came up with a great uh, uh, effort to put Rocket over on the sideline, on the sideline, I should say. You obviously wanted your playmates, but can you explain why the momentum shift was so significant when you get off? Oh, I, I think that's part of the game. I think the, we obviously hung onto the ball early and I think the Roosters completed about 95%. So when any team's sort of doing that to any team, and, and you know, we unfortunately kicked the, the ball dead a number of times, which you know, gives the, the opposition a seven set. Um, it makes makes things difficult for you. But we, we found uh, you know, through our defence that we stuck solid and we had to defend our way out of it. And then uh, once we got the ball back, we, we obviously got back into control. Also, when Adam came back, his kicking game wasn't what it wasn't the best. But he got I thought I thought towards the back end of the game yeah. it was. Um, you know, he, he understands that you know, the, the start probably wasn't what he's. Uh, you know, standards are about, yeah, but you know, he recognises those sorts of things and the boys are you know, pushing all those sorts of things uh, when they're out in the field. So while they're doing that, the blue's strong and we just got to keep at the things that we, we hold you know, as our standards that we talk about. Do you think he was trying, trying too hard to do something because it was sort of sick and you know, the game had slung while he was on? No, not at all. I just think we just needed to be more aware of what was going on at the time and the people that were on the field. I mean, you know, John goes to six, he's played plenty of five, eight before and uh, I thought Luke Geary, I mean, uh, Luke Geary himself was crook for the last couple of days and to find the effort that he did and play the way he did, it just says a lot about us as a team. You know, they just enjoy playing together. That's, that's what we've got to look forward to. Mate, what can you say about Troy Cook's set up? Did you play the game with him and do that? Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a, a great effort in what he does. I guess it takes a team to be able to do those sorts of things, but you know, he's a special talent along with uh, a lot of our players. And, as Greg just said, we've got to look at what we need to take out of this game and move on to the next one. Do you think something's all Greg just kick the ball? No, I think it's just one of those instinct things that kick in. You know, it's um, you know, it just comes back to a team effort. You know, that's um, if AJ wasn't there, well, then he wouldn't pass the ball, get tackled, and roll on from that. So, you know, everyone plays a big part in those in those plays. Mate, what about the first sports in the second half, George? Yeah, yeah. They, those two boys are growing in the way they're playing. I think George obviously really uh, come along in his game, and so has Tom. I think uh, Tom's got uh, a lot of improvement um, in areas of his game, along with all our players. But uh, I think you know the way Tom's growing now, he's, he's really following George's lead. So to have those two boys be able to either one come off the bench or out there together, um, it's a it's a good thing to have. Greg, when you play for Melbourne, obviously you probably expected to win because you were so strong, and then even when you play for Queensland. Is it the same sort of feeling you play for South Sydney? 
Yeah, look, we, you know, it's, we've run our own beliefs within our squad. You know, obviously, you know, I was fortunate enough to play with those sides, but you know, I'm here at South Sydney, and you know, leading these boys out each and every week. You know, so I take that as a huge honour. So, you know, we just got to keep growing our belief and growing our standards within our group. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs>